Dr. Shoshi of Uchida of Japan. Today, I'm going to talk about the effectiveness of endoscopic sterostomoplasty for the artery with the EDH. These are disclosures. Hip arthroscopy was not generally accepted too for the EDH until these studies appears demonstrating the several clinical outcomes and the lower limb operation rate for the just borderline mild dysplastic case. However, the, these recent study describes the pos possibility of loss of clinical outcomes and high reoperation rate and progress of osteoarthritis. So doing isolated hip arthroscopy for the level of region is the presence of underlying hip dysplasia carrying higher risk of clinical failure. So we investigated clinical and radiographic predictor of loss of clinical outcome after hip arthroscopic level preservation of the capsular closure in the DDH. So this study summarized that the most important predictor of clinical, poor clinical outcomes was patient with broken central line, uh, femoral neck shaft, and more, more than uh, 140 degrees, the severe cartilage damage, and the radar center edge of less, less than 19 degrees of EMI over 20 degrees. So on the other hand, the shelf astaproplasty provides a wider weight bearings surface by placing the cortical cancerous autograft on the anterior as severe aspect of the astagrams. The long-term clinical outcomes have shown the shelf astaproplasty to be long-lasting. So, however, the long-term clinical outcomes were affected by the presence of level tears. So thus, there is a need to evaluate the, for the level tears and prior to osteotomy and osteoplasty. So we devised the, the new surgical techniques on endoscopic shelf astroplasty that can address these problems and consist of shelf level preservation of the osteoplasty and the shelf astroplasty. The purpose of this study was to investigate the effectiveness of endoscopic shelf astroplasty for the athlete with the DDH. So method. 90 patients who underwent endoscopic shelf astroplasty between the 2011 and 2013 were retrospective reviews. The study athlete met inclusion criteria, minimum two years follow-ups, 15 right hips, 21 left hips, the average age 30 years, and the BMI 22. Patient de demographics showing the mean lateral center edge angle 16 degrees, sharp angle 48, VCA uh, angle. 18 and alpha angle 65. Here is the case presentation. An 18 female elite speed skater presented to us uh, with 18 months history of the right hip pain. So she had a limited range of motion and 60 degrees of flexion and the positive impingement sign. AP pelvic views showing uh, lateral center edge angle 16 degrees. Uh, this movie shows the surgical techniques. The 70 degree scope is viewing from anterolateral portal, so you can see the uh, anterior superior level tier. And then after uh, the compressor real with AIIS and the pressure suture anchor for the fixed labrums. And after releasing the tractions, and we evaluate the dynamic impingement, and the femoral osteoplasty was also performed. And then after that, uh, we complete the capsular closures performed. And we switch the scope to the extraarticular space under fluoroscopy. We identify the reflected femoris right here, and then we divide it. And then we place the uh, 2.4 millimeter guide wire to along with the capsule, and we introduce the osteotome to the make the slot, and we harvest the bone graft to uh, press it by press fitting. Uh, this post-operative X-ray showing uh, improved the acetabular coverage. Uh, this movie shows the post uh, surgical recovery. She can start running by, uh, at three months after surgery, and uh, she can start scale activity at six months after surgery without any discomfort. The result.
So more modified hard heat score and more threatened heat score significantly improved from preoperatively to postoperatively. The so mean lateral theta edge angle increased uh, from preoperatively to postoperatively, but it decreased after one year post surgery. That this suggests that the bone graft was resolved and remodeled to provi provide better stable coverage. The return to sports is a 90.6% could return to sports, but three remaining could not return to sports due to arthritis. The mean period from surgery to return was nine months. The discussed researcher is a GIS study to look at the long-term outcomes following rotational stable osteotomy. This is a, a, a traditional uh, traditional uh, Japanese osteotomy. So there was no mention regarding the return to uh, sports outcomes. Uh, these two studies describing the sports activity after PAO. The PAO can provide a higher rate of return to sports and improved activity scores. Endoscopic shape as the plasty can also provide comparative outcomes and, good, and return to sports. There is a limitation. This is a retrospective study without control group. It is not prospective randomized study. This is a short clinical outcome studies. In conclusion, Endoscopic shape of astroplasty is less invasive and provides favorable clinical outcome to the athlete with EDH. 90% of athletes with EDH are able to return to play. Thank you. Thank you, Soshi. Well, um, thank you for the speaker for staying on time. We're going to open up some discussion as any of you are coming up to the mic. Um, Peter, I have a question for you in regards 